Okay, what I'm going to do here today, or attempt to do, is show you how you can find records on the various counties in West Virginia um, that would prevent you from having to get in the car and go up to Charleston. And while their server is down for the vital research, uh, vital records at the uh, archives, uh, while that's down, you might be able to find a few records this way uh, until that gets back up. But in the meantime, again, court records, um, other records, birth and death, uh, records that are in such bad shape they can't be indexed online uh, or weren't indexed online. I'm going to show you how you can go to familysearch.org and attempt to find those records. Um, if you don't already have an account with Family Search, go here and create one. Uh, if you already have one, as I do, go there to sign in. And as soon as you are there, you get this blah screen. Now this is not a a, a records search simply because the the images that are in the database have not been indexed. Uh, I don't know that they have a way of indexing them to be honest with you. I'm uh, not sure that you would want it to be indexed. So what we're going to do is rather if you're used to looking for records don't go don't, don't, don't go there. Go to the catalog and click on that. Now you've got the search catalog. All right. Uh, because Family Search has records from many, many other countries, um, Canada, Mexico, the, those types of countries that you think your ancestors may have come from, you can look for them here. But for purposes of this video, we are in the United States. Type it in. Comma. We're looking for West Virginia records. And I don't know about you, but I'm looking for, did I spell that right? Virginia, Putnam County. And click on that one. Yes, once upon a time, Putnam County used to be in Virginia. We'll get to that in a minute. We want to look at online records, not just all of them. Search. All right. Here are the records that are available to you at home um, that have been digitized and are available at Family Search. Now, uh, here are court records. This is for Putnam County again. This is not just for any of the records, this is just for Putnam County. And they go back to, of course, 1848. Um, don't know how good a shape these records are in. So you will have to decide for yourself which of these to look through. Now, this is an index. And indexes to me are rather difficult to read. I don't like them, but if I know where to find them, um, I'll go straight to find the, the, you know, volume, this, book, whatever. Um, click on that little camera. When you click on that camera, it takes you to a big, fat list of images that you can look at. Double click on that first one and you're in. This is from 1872. Uh -huh. Notice, and it's on page 100. I do not understand these. I really do not. But you don't get a whole lot of um, that kind of information. Now, you want to jump over several pages. Change that image number right there. 75. Give it a minute to update, and you're on image 75. That's not the page. Notice. 
You're now on page 234 of 75. Anyway, the point is, as soon as I back this thing up, the point is you can view various records uh, for the county uh, of Putnam, all of the counties in West Virginia can be viewed this way. Uh, you've got law books, order books, court order books, 1858, 1848, excuse me. Um, remember that before 1848, it was Kanawha County. All you have to do update that and boom you're in Kanawha County all right one other thing that I would like to point out you'll notice that there are no uh, are there censuses no there's no censuses here not sure uh, other than the fact that they have been what's the word they've been um, indexed and you can um, you can search for those in the records all right here's another thing we're going to do um, a lot of folks like me holler and fuss because we don't have an 1860 census for West Virginia yeah we do um, right quick you want to type in United States Virginia Putnam, all right. The county existed, but it was not West Virginia yet. Virginia has the 1860 census for Putnam County. Uh, leave the Putnam off. Sorry. Update. All right. Now <laughs> scroll down. Just United States, Virginia and scroll down and you can view every census ever taken for the state of Virginia in whatever year and there my friend is 1860 now that's non-population schedules this is the federal census that you're looking for now the fun begins You'll notice that these are combined counties. What a pain in the fanny. Um, if you want Putnam or Kanawha, you're going to have to scroll down until you reach that. There's Kanawha. It's merged with King George. Um, then our Putnam. Sorry, guys. Uh, my brain is dead. Click the camera. Boom, you're in. Now what you're going to have to do, you're going to notice that the very first census in the beginning is uh, not, it's uh, what count, Prince William County. So I think you have to go over about 450. I've got it written down someplace, but Yes, now we're in Putnam County. Uh, let's go 400. I don't want to miss anything. Nevertheless, yeah, we're still... I've got a number of these, but you'll realize here is your... This is Winfield. Now... And this guy had lousy handwriting. I really, look at that. I mean, you can't tell his F's from his G's uh, and his T's. Um, but nevertheless, that's how you get to the 1860 census. I did a full section on that. And I have a database, uh, a spreadsheet, excuse me, uh, with links to each of these. If you're interested, let me know. Anyway. Hope that helps and yes you can get what records you would normally have to travel to Charleston or the local courthouse to find um, 
those are all mine here at Family Search. Thanks.